So imagine you are running a blog. You publish great content over there that your readers really enjoy. Your articles get posted somewhere, Reddit, Twitter, indie hackers and so on. People come to your blog, they read it and they really enjoy it. But when they are done reading, they leave your blog. And after three days, they don't remember the name, let alone the exact URL of your blog. So they are probably gone and will never return. So losing potential readers that are interested in your content is a major problem. And one way to address this problem is to set up a newsletter for your blog. That way, interested readers can subscribe to your blog and get updates whenever you publish something new. I'm Ronald, marketing executive here at Hashnode. And in today's video, this is exactly what we're going to be looking at. Let's get started. So we just talked about why it's important to run a newsletter and what the problems are if you don't have one. This is all cool and everything, but now you're probably thinking, well, setting up a newsletter is tough. You have to build out these forms and create mailing lists, build templates and send out these emails. So if these are your thoughts, I have good news for you because with Hashnode, this is one of the easiest things you can do. Let's take a closer look. Now, if you want to enable a newsletter for your blog, all you have to do is from the hashnode.com landing page, click your profile picture and head over to your blog's dashboard. Once you're here, make sure you have selected the right blog because depending on your use case, you might want to set this up either for your personal blog or also one of your team blogs. So in my case, I'm going to select the Hashnode 101 team blog. And once done, scroll down to the newsletter section here. We can now enable the newsletter service for our blog here. But first, let's check our blog directly. So right now we don't have a sign up form or whatsoever, neither on the homepage nor on a blog post directly. So now if you want to enable it, let's do it. Um, just check the switch here and it's done. And now if we check back to a blog post and refresh the page, we can see that the newsletter feature is now active and a sign up form is displayed on the blog post directly. Also, if we now go back to the blog home and refresh the page, we can see the sign up form as well. So now that the newsletter feature is enabled, it's very easy for readers to subscribe to your content because there is now a sign-up form present on the blog home as well as on every blog post you have published before. Now, whenever a reader is interested, they just enter the email address here and then they receive a confirmation email to verify the subscription. Now, if we check back to the newsletter dashboard to refresh that page, we can see that uh, my email address has been added to the list, but it's currently pending because as I just said, it's double opt-in, so the subscriber has to verify their email first. Now I just opened this email and clicked on the link to verify my email address, and I'm taken to this page where it says that the subscription has been successful and that I'm now getting updates from this blog I just subscribed to. So if we go back to the dashboard, refresh the list, we can see that my email has been confirmed and that I have now one valid subscriber to my email list. So I just republished this article so that we can see how this notification email looks like. I am currently in my newsletter history and we can see that we have one entry which has been sent to one subscriber. And if we click on view email, we can see what our subscribers received. Uh, it's a small summary of that blog post with the cover image and a, a quick introduction. And if we click to read full article, we are uh, redirected to our blog post. So newsletters are a great way for interested readers to stay in touch with your content. That way they don't have to bookmark anything or save your links. They automatically get notified whenever you publish something new. It's also a perfect opportunity for yourself to build an audience because you're essentially collecting email addresses of people that are interested in what you're writing about. And with Hashnode, setting up a newsletter is a total breeze. Just go to your dashboard, enable the newsletters feature and we automatically take care of showing a subscription form on all your blog posts. When you publish an article, we automatically notify everyone that's subscribed to the list. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. You are watching Hashnode 101 and I hope to see you in the next video.